Hello Virgo, here is your weekly guidance for week beginning April the 18th. And this week I have the Game of Friends Tarot. I also have the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. It's a lovely deck. I have just recently unboxed this deck and I've done a walkthrough. So if you would like to take a better look, you'll find that video on my YouTube channel. But we'll start with your tarot cards for the week ahead, Virgo. Let's see what's coming in for you. And we're going to look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then your weekend guidance will be uploaded on uh, Thursday morning, UK time. So let's see what's coming in for you, Virgo. Your first card is the Two of Pentacles for Monday. Tuesdays has flown out of the deck and you have the Nine of Cups. Wednesday, three of spears. Good cards, Virgo. What's coming in for Thursday, please? Six of spears. Yes, very good cards. Very positive cards, Virgo, for the week ahead. Okay, so you appear to be moving forward in some way this week, Virgo. I really sense a lot of progress from many of you. Your first card, the two of coins, okay. Now, it's it's Monday's card and it's the start of the week. So I feel that they're urging you to make sure that you balance your energies this week, okay. And when I say that, I mean, you know, don't overwork, don't overplay. Um, it's making sure that you do enough of, of both, really, okay. Because... You are an earth sign and earth signs can sometimes forget to have time for themselves or have time to do the things they enjoy. And so it's basically saying don't make this week a week where it's all work and no play. All right. It, the focus needs to be on balance this week. And for some of you, this could have a um, connection with finances. It may be you need to balance your books and budgets this week. Um, especially if you have bills to pay or things that you want to save up for. Sometimes the two of coins can come in and sort of as a reminder to put some money away for your future. And then your second card, the Knight of Cups. Beautiful card relating to... Um, water signs Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Now this Knight of Cups is offering you some support on Tuesday I feel okay. Um, could be a partner, could be a family member, someone at work, it's whoever it is it's someone who I feel you're able to confide in or open your heart to. Now, this Knight of Cups could indicate a proposal of love coming in for some of you, Virgo, especially if you're single, all right? There is an air of romance with this card on Tuesday, so it, it could be that kind of day for some of you. And then your third card, the Three of Spears. This is where I see the progress happening, Virgo. I feel as if Wednesday is a day where you're looking ahead and and planning for the future. You know, it's as if your ships are coming in now and you're deciding as to where you want to go next. Okay, You're ready for growth. You're ready for the next stage of your journey, Virgo. And it, this is particularly true if you have your own business or if you are wanting promotion in your career. You know, it's your, t it's your time, Virgo. You worked hard for this. You know, something is materialising. Something is, is propelling you forward now, okay? The universe are opening doors for you, especially on Wednesday. So something is, is happening on that day that is going to sort of make you realise that um, 
you know, you're really progressing. You're actually starting to get somewhere now. Especially as on Thursday, you've got the six of spears. You know, you've got the three here. And you literally jumped to the six, you know. Um, this six is a card of success. It's a card that indicates you're about to be rewarded for your for your hard work, Virgo. And you have been working so hard. You are very hard working people. And all your determination is paying off, okay? Um, people are looking up to you, Virgo, this week, especially on Thursday. Some of you may receive some kind of accolade or pat on the back on Thursday, okay? Because you do, you do deserve it, Virgo. When you do a job, you do a very good job, you know. You are the perfectionists in the Zodiac. So let's have a look at your room guidance now. If I go and see what message they have for you. Ah, you have the lovely year. That is incredible because this relates to celebration. It also relates to good news and, and harvest time, okay? This is another indication of your just rewards coming in for you, you know? Especially for anything that you've been working on for a long time. I feel there's been this steady uh, progress forward and it's all sort of um, coming to a head recently. It, it's like this uh, surge forward for you this week, Virgo. Um, so, you know, you can expect to receive... Um, your just rewards, okay? You could also receive some good news when this rune comes in. It's an excellent omen with regard to progress. So let's have a look at your spirit animal for this week, Virgo. Who is the spirit animal for Virgo, please? Okay, you have the turtle spirit. This makes a lot of sense. It says slow and steady wins the race. And Virgo, you are a sign that does steadily make progress. And that's what you've been doing, looking at these cards, you know. You, you're, you're getting there. You've got there, really, in many, many ways. Um, and you know you've been methodical and you've taken your time okay and this lovely turtle spirit is coming in to let you know you're on the right track keep doing what you're doing Virgo because you're getting there and I hope you've enjoyed that reading Virgo if you have give it a like and subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to order from me you can do so at my link below. Have a wonderful week Virgo. I will be back soon. Bye for now.